Hi guys, welcome back to Graceful Beauty. My name is Sherry and today I'm gonna film for you my everyday go-to makeup look with some of my most favorite products that I've ever used. The products I'm going to use today are pretty much what I use almost every single day. Now before we get started, I just wanted to remind you that if you would like to see more videos that I post, right here at the bottom of the screen, just click that red subscribe button or at the very end of the video, my face will pop up and you can click that to subscribe as well. And if you wanna get notified every time I do post a new video, click the bell when you do subscribe and that'll send you an email so you'll know each time I post a video. If you do like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. So let's get started with today's video so I can show you some of my favorite makeup items of all time and how I got today's look. I've already applied my daily skincare, but my final step, even if I'm going to stay indoors all day long, is to apply sunscreen. And today I use the Skin Medica Essential Defense. This is a physical sunscreen. It is SPF 32, zinc oxide, and titanium dioxide. And this is also tinted. I'm gonna do a full review of this in another video also. Today I also primed my face and I used the Hourglass Ambient Light Correcting Primer in the shade Mood Light. Now I'm gonna apply the foundation. I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Medium Tan today, and I'm gonna apply it with a damp beauty sponge. This is the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and I will link these down below. I'm gonna do one pump. I always like to put it on the back of my hand. And then I just dab it, and I start applying it all over my face. Now I used to just apply this foundation with my fingers and nothing else and you know it looked great but when I started using these beauty sponges I got such a beautiful flawless coverage. So I just start pressing it in. I'm not rubbing it all over my face or doing what I would do with a brush. I just press it in. And the reason I like to use the beauty sponge damp is because if I do it dry, it seems like the sponge absorbs too much of the product. So I'm just gonna get it all over my face here. And I do it really fast. It's just pat, 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 pat all over. I put it on my lips. Now I don't really get a full coverage with this foundation so you know for someone like me that has a lot of hyperpigmentation and melasma and acne or acne scarring it doesn't fully cover it all the way up but again I don't like my skin to look like a cake face. I like my skin to look like skin and then I can spot conceal with some concealer. This foundation looks so natural and it really does a great job of covering most imperfections. I would say it's about a medium coverage. Next I'm going to use one of my favorite under eye concealers and this is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and this one is in the shade Neutralizer. I love this one because it has a little bit more of a yellow undertone and I put it underneath where the shadow is and then I just blend that in patting it with my beauty blender and you know with this you can also use your finger but I really enjoy applying these products with the Real Techniques beauty sponge. This one is one that I reach for very often. It's so affordable and you can get it online on Amazon or at the drugstore. It is a great concealer especially if you have mature skin and you have some of the fine lines and wrinkles under your eyes. Remember, the thinner the concealer is, the better it is for fine lines and wrinkles. Because if you use a thicker concealer, if you have fine lines and wrinkles, it's going to accentuate those wrinkles and those fine lines. Now, when I was 20, it didn't matter. I could put on the thickest of thickest concealers and it would look great under my eyes, but the older I'm getting, I need to go with a thinner formula and this one by Maybelline is amazing. Next, I'm going to lightly set my foundation and the concealer under my eyes and I really enjoy using this one by, it's either Well People or, but it's spelled W3LL People. And this is their Bio Brightener Invisible Powder. And I really, really like this powder. And I'm just going to put my damp beauty blender lightly in the product. 
and then just kind of pat it off and then I'm going to just press it underneath my eyes and just on the areas where I need to control shine throughout the day. Now since I still see this little blemish on the side of my face, I'm going to use a concealer. Now this is not one that I'm suggesting that you go out and buy. It's the Clé de Peau concealer and I don't use this underneath my eyes because it's a little bit thicker but I keep it in my purse and I love this. I use it for blemishes so this one's pretty expensive. I think it's like $70. I'll link a couple down below that work just as good as this without having to you know break the bank on such an expensive concealer. So I'm just going to take a little bit, just on my finger actually, and then I'm just going to dot it on the area where I want a little more coverage. Now I'm going to apply my favorite blush of all time. This is by Too Faced. It's their 16 hour Love Flush Blush in the shade Baby Love. And this is one that obviously I've used a lot, and but I already have two backups of this because this is such a beautiful blush. I'm going to use a Luxie 514 blush brush and I'm just going to lightly tap it into the product. This blush is so pigmented and that's why I love it and it truly does last, well I don't know if it lasts 16 hours because I've never had it on that long, but it lasts all day and I love it. And I'm just going to dab it on my cheeks. So the bronzer I'm going to use today is also by Too Faced. As you can tell, I love Too Faced products. And this is their Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. And this is just one of their samples that I have. This is a great bronzer and it truly does smell like chocolate. Sometimes I'll be doing my makeup and I'll get some of the powder in my mouth. It's like a little snack while I'm doing my makeup. <laughs> So I'm just going to put a little of this bronzer on where the sun may hit my face. Of course, sun never hits my face because I wear sun hats, sunscreen, umbrella, you name it. I don't let sun get on my face. And I'm also just going to do a little contouring with this. And put it here so it'll look like I'm skinny. and I'll even do a little down my nose. And you know, I just use the same brush. I mean, I have a ton of different brushes, but I don't like to hassle with getting out a brush for this and a brush for that and a brush for this. Honestly, I just try to improvise and I just squeeze the brush and then I just put it down the sides of my nose just to add a little bit of contouring. And then I'm gonna blend it out with a beauty sponge. Now I'm going to do my brows. I normally like to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but I've actually run out of it and I forgot to order a backup. So today I'll just use another brow product that I have. This one, the compact is broken, but that's okay because I don't use this mirror anyways. The powders are still intact. I'm just going to fast forward through this part because it's really not that interesting. I did my brows a little bit darker today just because I just colored my hair yesterday so my hair is now a little bit darker here so I wanted my brows to match my hair. The next step I'm going to do is just kind of clean it up and give it a nice straighter line and I just use a little bit of concealer. I'll use the same concealer I used under my eyes and I'm going to use a thin concealer brush also. This is one that I got by Bare Minerals years ago and I can link this one down below but you can use any type of brush with this type of brush head. So I just put a little bit on here, wipe off the excess, and I'm just going to use this little zoom in mirror for this. And then I just like to brush through them with a clean spoolie one last time just so that they look a little more natural. Now I'm going to do my eyeshadow, but since I have oily eyelids, and even if I didn't have oily eyelids, I like to use an eye primer, and the one that I absolutely love for mature eyelids is also by Too Faced, and this is their 24-hour anti-crease eye primer. And I 
just use a dot of this. Not even a pea size. I mean, it's just a little speck. And then I just gently pat it on my eyelids. Next, I'm gonna use my current favorite, which is the Too Faced Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And I've already done a review on these and I can link that down below, but look at how beautiful and natural these colors are. I really like matte eyeshadows on hooded lids and mature eyelids because it just makes them look a little more youthful. So today I'm gonna to put this color right here called Heaven all over the eye. And I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush and just kind of blend it out. I'm actually just kind of using this as my setting powder for my eye primer. And I'm gonna bring it all the way up to my eyebrow. Now for my daily makeup, I don't like to use 80 million different brushes. I just like to use a few different brushes just to make it easy. So I do have a ton of brushes, I just don't use them that often. So I'm gonna use the same brush, and I forgot to mention, this is one called Furless, and I got this in one of my beauty box subscriptions, and it's just like a fluffy blending brush, and I can use it for almost my whole eye look. But what I do is I just keep a paper towel or a dry washcloth handy, and what I do is I just clean it off each time. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I think today I'm gonna to use Oh Natural, that's this color right here. And I'm just going to apply this right above where my crease is. And I'm just gonna blend and blend and blend. Most of my makeup application is blending. And this just really helps because I have hooded eyes. So if I just go right above where the crease is, because as you can see, my eyes are pretty hooded. But, and some days they're so hooded to where I feel like it's just pressing down on my eyelid. But, so what I do, the crease is actually here, but I just kind of lift the eye where my crease should be, and instead of applying it here, I apply it right above. And I make my own crease. And I always try to do small little circles, but bringing it up, never trying to pull it down. And then I just do this kind of windshield wiper effect, back and forth, back and forth, blending. Blending is key because if I slap it on real fast and I don't really blend it, sometimes you can see where it's like patchy and doesn't look good. But what is so amazing about these Too Faced eyeshadows, like I could probably just keep my eyes closed and just slap it on and not even know what I've done and it would probably still look halfway decent because these eyeshadows, this new formula, they are so amazing to blend on your eyes. So now I'm gonna clean off my brush again. Now I'm gonna go in with this color called Hook Up and I'm just gonna dab a little bit in there and I'm just gonna go in the corner of my eye, sort of in like a V shape And again, I'm trying to blend it up. And I just fast forward through all of this blending because it can be really boring watching somebody blend and blend and blend forever. And I did the same thing on the other eye and just put it in like a V shape and I'm just doing really small little circles and then I start blending it. Sometimes I do use a different brush while I'm doing my eyeshadow, but since I said that I try to use the same brush, I'm just gonna show you how it can be done. So you don't have to go out and buy 20 different brushes just to put on your eyeshadow. So I'm gonna clean this brush off again and then I'm gonna take this color, Lace Teddy, and then I'm just gonna put it on my lid. Only on the lid. Another thing you can do, something I do all the time, I just take my finger, put it on my finger, then I just press it into my eye. And to me, I find that you get more pigmentation when you do that. And then, same thing, clean off your brush, really good and blend this all out.
But then I also like to take some of the lightest shade here and put it right below my brow bone. And that's a little too much, but that's okay because we're just going to blend it out. And these eyeshadows blend so well. So it really doesn't matter if you kind of make a mistake because these eyeshadows are so creamy and so buttery and no matter what you do, you can just blend them out and make them look really pretty. Clean my brush and then I just blend it all out. And I'm just going to take a pop of this really light color and put a little bit right on my eyelid. Since I have hooded lids, when you put a little bit lighter color right on this part of your eye, it will help to make it look like you actually have an eyelid and it'll open up the eye. Do you see the difference between this eye and this eye? Now I do need to switch brushes because I want to put a little eyeshadow underneath here and I don't want to use such a thick brush to first apply it. So I'm just going to use this thin brow gal brush that has a spoolie on the end, but I'm not using this side. I'm just going to use this side because it's a nice, thin, and firm bristles. I'm also going to use the color hook up here, and then I'm just going to put some underneath my eyes. I'm going to use my little zoom in mirror for this. And I just bring it all the way up and sort of just making my eyes go up instead of down. And of course we're going to blend all of this afterwards. It's not going to be a harsh line when we're finished. Now we're going to take that same blending brush and I've cleaned it off and then you just want to blend this part into what you've already done. Then I'm going to clean off my blending brush again and then I'm going to blend this out. And again, I'm not going to use a different brush. I'm just going to show you how you can stick with pretty much the same brush to do an eye look. And then I'm just going to pinch the bristles and then I'm just going to kind of blend this out underneath. I also like to put a little shimmer right here on the inner corners of my eyes, especially on days like today when I'm tired and I didn't get good sleep because it just helps to open everything up. So, so I'm going to use this little Bare Minerals The Power Neutrals Compact and I'm just going to use this color right here. Now you can use any light color, but the reason why I'm using this is because this is what I have right next to me in my makeup bag. And I'm just going to actually use my pinky, put a little bit right here in the corner of my eye and just blend it a little bit there. And that just helps to get rid of that darkness that you have on the inner corner of your eye. Now I'm going to apply my favorite eyeliner to the inner bottom rim of my eye and underneath my lashes a little bit here. And this is one by Marc Jacobs. This is my favorite, favorite eyeliner. This is so pretty. This color really looks good if you have blonde hair, but this one's called Lunatic. And I'm just going to swatch it on my hand so you can see what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? When you have smaller eyes like I do, I like to put a lighter color on the inner rim and it helps open up the eyes. I also have this one by Tarte and this is specifically an inner rim liner. It's just kind of a skin tone color and it really just opens up your eyes and makes it look brighter. The reason I love this one by Marc Jacobs is it stays on. It doesn't budge. It doesn't come off. This one is absolutely phenomenal. I love this one. I've bought a couple of these and gone through them already because it's that great. The next thing I'm going to do is put on eyeliner above my lashes and I don't put a thick layer here because I don't want to take away from this precious eye space that I have. When you have hooded lids, if you put a thick layer of eyeliner here, it's going to take away the lightness and it's just going to make your eyes look really, really, really small and look like you have no eyelids at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently put it along right basically where the eyelashes are coming out of the skin. Let me try to get close for this. This has like a felt tip applicator on it. This is one that I got in a beauty box a while back, but one that I really like is by Kat Von D and Maybelline has a really nice one. So does L'Oreal but this is by Steve Laurent and this is a precision tip liner and this is in black. A lot of times I just wear a brown, but today I'm gonna to wear black. I'm not putting it all up here. I'm just going to 
put it right where the eyelashes are coming out of my skin. So it's just a very thin line. It's not super noticeable, just gives the eyes a little bit more definition. Now I look at where my eyelashes are going to go and I don't do a big winged line. Since my eyelash comes out here, I'm going to just gently bring it up with where my eyelash would go. And that'll help to lift my eye some. The next thing I'm going to do is my mascara, but first I'm going to curl my lashes. And I get all the way in, all the way to the root, and then I just squeeze it and kind of lift. And I just count to ten. Let me get closer so you can see the difference what an eyelash curler does. Next I'm going to put on mascara. I have tried almost every mascara out there, but one that I love and I keep going back to is actually one that my sister recommended many, many years ago. It's by Maybelline and it's their Full and Soft Very Black Mascara. You know, with mascaras, you don't have to pay a lot of money to get a good mascara. There are a lot of drugstore mascaras that are really, really awesome. So this is one that I really like. There are some high-end mascaras that I like, but you know, sometimes your eyes just feel crunchy. The eyelashes feel kind of crunchy and hard. This one, that's why it's called Full and Soft. This makes your lashes look long, very black, but they are so soft and it's so easy to take off at the end of the night. I don't even use a waterproof mascara, but this lasts all day long. No flaking, no marks underneath. It is just fabulous. So when I apply my mascara, I start from the root and then I just kind of wiggle it back and forth and bring it up. And then I also do the tops of my lashes to make them look really thick, long, and dark. Now I'm just going to fast forward through this because it does take me a, about a minute or so to put on my mascara because I like to do two to three coats. Now, if you get mascara on your eyes while you're doing it, sometimes I do because I'm just slapping it on really fast, don't touch it while it's wet. Wait for it to completely dry and then you just take a Q-tip and then it comes right off. Now that the mascara has dried on my eyelids, I'm going to use a Q-tip and take it off real quick. This is great because it doesn't mess up the eyeshadow that you've already put on. Now I'm going to apply my lip products. The first thing I like to do is prime my lips. I do have a NYX primer that I really like and I'll link that one down below. But today I'm going to use my Guerlain Kiss Kiss Lip Primer. This one's a little more pricey, but I really like this one and the NYX one's great also but this one just is a little bit better. So I'm just gonna put it on like a chapstick and I'm also gonna go a little bit on the outer corners of my mouth and this will just help to smooth out my lip wrinkles and make everything just blend a little bit better and stay in place. Next, I'm going to use my Estee Lauder lip liner, and this is their stay in place lip liner. This one's almost done, and this is probably my third or fourth one. This one's in the shade Brick. I absolutely love these lip liners. The reason I love these by Estee Lauder is that they truly do stay in place, and when you have mature skin, mature lips, and you start getting those little wrinkles around here, this lip liner does not budge, and it does not allow your lip products to start seeping into those wrinkles. I'm going to make all of this really fast 
because it's kind of difficult to talk while I'm putting on my lip products. Now I actually draw a little bit higher on this side of my mouth because this lip right here seems to be a little bit shorter than this lip, so that's okay. You can fix it with makeup. Now I was born in the 70s, so I like that dark lip liner and the lighter lipstick, but I do blend my lip liner a little bit just so it's not that harsh lip line around my mouth. The lip brush I'm going to use is one I got on Amazon and I'll link it down below and I really like this. It's got nice, it's just a retractable lip brush and it's got these nice firm bristles. And I just blend it out a little bit just so it's not such a harsh line. And any excess that I get on my lip brush, I just put it all over the rest of my lips. Today, I'm gonna to wear my favorite all-time lipstick, and it's by Too Faced. Again, another Too Faced product. This one is in the shade called Wham. And let me just swatch it for you real quick here. Look how creamy and buttery. I mean, I'm not even pressing hard. I'm just lightly touching my hand. This is such a beautiful lipstick. It's like a raspberry with like a lighter pink speckles through it, but it's not like glitter, chunky glitter. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful shimmer. You can use a lip brush for this, but I just put it right on from the tube. Isn't that so pretty? And then I just like to blot it. Now I could just leave the lipstick just like this, but you know, I don't usually just wear one color. For some reason I like to blend like two, three, sometimes four different shades of glosses and lipsticks just to get the perfect color for my lips. So today I'm gonna take the NYX Ombre Lip Duo and I'm not gonna use this side. This side is the lip liner side but I'm gonna use this light shade and I'm just gonna put it right in the center of my lips. And when you put the lighter color in the center of your lips, it just makes your lips look a little bit bigger. Then I like to apply just a little bit of lip gloss. I have hundreds of lip glosses, but the one that I reach for most often is by NYX. They're butter glosses, oh my gosh. These are so inexpensive and they're better than any of the high-end lip products that I've ever used. This one is in the shade Creme Brulee and I just put a little bit of this on right in the center of my lips. The NYX butter glosses are the most amazing lip glosses, lip product ever created. So throughout the day, I don't keep putting on lipstick, lip liner, and doing all that. I just reach for my NYX butter glosses, and this is what I typically use throughout the day. Now I know I already put on some blush, but while I was filming this, my phone rang a couple times, my battery on my camera died, I got hungry, so I had to go eat something really quick, and then I got really hot, so I had to go turn the air conditioner on, Anyways, I want to add a little more blush since I love blush, so I don't want to do the same color, but I want to add just a pop of pink right on the cheeks here, and this is one by Milani. This is one of my absolute favorites. I actually wear this every day. I don't care what color blush I have on, I always put this on at the very end, and this is called Delicioso Pink by Milani. And I don't think they sell this in the drugstores anymore, but I will put the link down below where you can get it. This is so inexpensive. I love this color. Is that the prettiest pink? Let me just look at this color. It is creamy. It is buttery. It is so smooth. I mean, you literally feel like you're putting a cream on. So I just lightly tap my brush, same blush brush as I used before. This is the Luxie 514 blush brush. Tap off any excess. And then I just put it right here on the apples of my cheeks. 
And if it's a little too much, who cares? And if it's a little too much and I want to blend it, I just take my beauty sponge and then I just press it in and just make it mesh with the rest of my makeup. So normally these are all the steps that I do when I just do my basic everyday makeup look. But a lot of times I just want my cheeks to pop and I want to have a beautiful glow to my skin, so I like to use a highlighter. Now there are so many beautiful highlighters out there that would have worked great on me when I was 20, but now that I'm older, I like to use a highlighter that's really good for mature skin with fine lines, wrinkles, pores, things like that. One of my favorite, favorite highlighters that is absolutely wonderful for mature skin is by Algenist. It is their Reveal Concentrated Luminizing Drops. And this comes in a lot of different shades. It comes in this color, a beautiful, like a light pink color, a more of a golden color. But this is one that I reach for all the time. And what it is, you just open it up. It's got this little squeeze thing on the top here. And you can just squeeze out the product. And I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm just going to wipe what's on the applicator on the back of my hand. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of it. And I'm just going to put it on the very tops of my cheeks to give it that nice beautiful glow and I'm just going to press it in I also like to put some right here so you can just basically put it in a V right around here right above the eyebrow but going down right here. This is a beautiful highlighter because it's not sparkly. It doesn't accentuate fine lines and wrinkles. It doesn't accentuate your pores. And it just gives you that natural glow. I hope you liked today's video. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button right here. Or you can click my face at the very end of this video. Thanks again for watching. And I hope you guys have a great day.